President Jomani Mahama, President of the Republic of Ghana, Your Excellency Ali Mariam Desarinen, Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, distinguished guests and participants, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observers. Welcome, Akwaba, bienvenue. It's a pleasure. <laughs> This cocoa grinding factory has been commissioned last April 2015, one year ago in your presence, Your Excellency the President. And we are again honored, Your Excellency the President, that you have chosen today our factory to present to your distinguished guests the reality of cocoa transformation in Ghana. We are also honored to receive here in Tema, Your Excellency the Prime Minister, considering that we, Tutan, developed a coffee trade relationship with various Ethiopian companies for the past decade. Your two countries have got so much in common. Ghana is one of the main cocoa producers in the world. Ethiopia is one of the main coffee producers in the world and the first one in Africa. These two products represent a very consistent part of your export and national revenues. Thanks to the quality of your production and the constant policies from your administration, the Ghanaian cocoa as well as the Ethiopian coffee are very well appreciated and fairly highly priced in the international market, talking about so large and mainstream productions. Ghana is by the producer of the best cocoa in the world and Ethiopia is the producer of the best cocoa in the world. And both of them and both of them are a guarantee of good, healthy, and flavors and products. Your Excellency the President, I will also use the present occasion to thank again the Ghana government and administration after one year of production, because this is a kind of birthday for us. It was one thing to receive a strong support from authorities to invest here in Ghana one year ago. This is another thing to underline that we also received continuous support from the Ghana Cocoa Board and the Cocoa Marketing Company for the supply of beans, allowing us to run this industrial tool up to its maximum capacity all the last year long. Ghana stable democracy, respect for the rule of law, enabling business environment and youth employment were for us one year ago both a reputation and a promise. Today, one year after, we can say this is a reality. Thank you for your attention, and we will present to you a little bit more the Tuton Group and the factory. Thank you. So Tuton is a whole company that was created in the mid-19th century, located in Bordeaux, France. And historically, we were a trader of uh, spices coming from the Indian Ocean. This uh, business was turned to cocoa trade, coffee trade, and natural ingredient trade by the mid-20th uh, mid century. Today, uh, Tuton got three departments. One is linked to cocoa, so it means co cocoa trading and uh, products. It means cocoa beans cocoa liqueur, cocoa butter, and cocoa cake were the main ingredients of chocolate. We got a division for coffee trading where we trade both Robustas and Arabica's coffee. And we've got this historical uh, department trading tropical natural ingredients, mainly vanilla, cloves, ginger, but also anatosid, beeswax, and uh, various other products used uh, by the food industry. The group employs more or less 1,000 employees around the world and we've got a focus, a particular focus, uh, we develop all of operation to the origin because we believe that for supply the food industry in various countries, we have to create special link with the origin producing these uh, this goods. We've got 15 superior as a representative office around the world. 11 uh, of them are sourcing company from producing countries. The three business, business in it I mentioned to you. We've got around the six cleaning and packing facilities for cocoa and coffee, and this cocoa processing facility here in Ghana. We trade on a yearly basis between 300 to 350,000 tons of cocoa, 
uh, and at least 30,000 tons of uh, cocoa semi products. Our coffee trade represents on a yearly basis between 80 to 100,000 tons of coffee and we trade more or less 10,000 tons of various natural ingredients. The group turnover is over 1 billion euros and our main customers are the very well-known name uh, of the food industry. So talking about chocolates, uh, it's going to be Nestlé, for coffee, Mondelez, uh, Nespresso, Lindt, Altin Marca uh, and Blomer. I mentioned specifically Altin Marca who is a Turkish company, one of our main customers and I know that you received a few weeks ago uh, Mr. Erdogan, uh, the Turkish Prime Minister. The, the operation uh, in Ghana, we are used to trade uh, with Ghana through the Ghana Cocoa Board for the past 40 years. Okay, and we have invested in this site here in Tema uh, last year uh, with the factory. At this stage, I'm going to uh, give the microphone to Mr. Patrick Davayo, who is our industrial manager for the group and the head of Touton uh, Ghana and the Coco Touton Pla. Um, Touton in Ghana has been built in uh, 27 and taken over by the Touton Group last year in April. Um, we have made, uh, to make this acquisition, an investment of 17 million of USD, which comprise the factory, the adjacent land for further extension and increasing of capacity. Um, we have uh, today 135 employees uh, who are running this business with only three expats from the Touton Group. Um, current production capacity is 30,000 tons of cocoa beans and when we have made this acquisition one year ago the capacity was only 24,000 tons which means that we have already increased the capacity by 25%. Um, the industry of cocoa is supposed to absorb uh, the high level of investment to run the capacity around the clock which means seven days out of seven days, 24 hours out of 24 hours, runs 365 days a year. It runs on Christmas, it runs on the 1st of January. In this facility, we produce a single product, which is natural cocoa liquor, or natural cocoa paste, which is the same product. And this is basically the result of the primary processing of cocoa and the cocoa liquor is the main raw material that is used to produce industrial chocolate. As already mentioned, we trade as a group approx, and it is a minimum of 80,000 tons of Ghanaian cocoa beans. We start from the cocoa beans and we turn these cocoa beans into cocoa liquor. Okay? This is the very first stage of the primary processing. The second stage that is possible but not yet implemented in this factory is the pressing uh, industry which consists of separating the fat content of the cocoa liquor which is the butter and the cocoa powder, the cocoa cake that is used for uh, producing cocoa powder later. A couple of words about the fluid diagram uh, of this factory because uh, primary processing means that we have to meet drastic microbiological specification to make sure that we meet the international standards okay? and which means that starting from an agricultural raw material which is the raw cocoa beans that we turn into cocoa liquor we have to segregate the process between red zone where we process the cocoa beans and the white zone where the, pro the product is already sterilized okay? and this is absolutely key in this industry, especially when the final end user has a name which is Lindt, Nestlé, Ferrero, Altimarca, and so on. Interesting is to highlight what has driven Touton investment in, uh, in Ghana. And uh, I would like to highlight a couple of points which are absolutely key and which has driven the decision of Touton to do the investment in Ghana. The first one is very simple, the quality of the Ghanaian cocoa, which makes this country the second producer in the world for mainstream cocoa. Now we talk about um, between 800,000 tons up to 1 million tons, which is produced in Ghana 
the grid year. The second point is obviously the political and the social environment, which given the stability and the democracy regime gives uh, security and visibility to the investor and to make the investment in this country. The third point is the reliability of the count box. It has been already mentioned by the deputy CEO, but I want to mention it again, and especially the support received from the Cocoa Board, but also the GIPC, which is the Ghanaian Investment Promotion Center, and the Ghana Free Zone Board, uh, due to the fact that this factory is located in the free zone of Tema. Fourth point is the friendly business and the structural environment, which is one particularity definitely of Ghana in the Indusef region, okay? And the quality of the infrastructure. The Tema port, which is one of the biggest uh, in the region, is only located eight kilometers from this facility. From uh, the investment and the reason why Tuto has made investment, let's uh, go through a couple of uh, items that has created added value in, uh, in Ghana. First of all, um, this facility produces currently top quality manufacturer cocoa products. Tasty and safe. And, and so it's an opportunity from this investment to promote the Ghanaian image worldwide as being a country which is able to produce top quality products. Secondly, and we are very proud of this, this business is managed by Ghanaian managers. Um, in terms of added value, local purchases account for 85, 85 uh, million USD, including cocoa, salaries, transport, all the services that we buy locally. Because the fact that we are implemented uh, in Tema implies that we buy these services locally. Thank you very much.